let's start again with some hip openers. I know I've done that in my last clip too, but I really think that you can hear, think they're fabulous to open your hips and really bring your hip bone back into the socket. Because from sitting, you always have too much pressure on one point, and it's good to really bring them back into the socket. Okay, I'll show it from the side. Remember we say like the knees gaze, and we really stick out the butt. Okay, back stay straight. And really five back to give a stretch in the inner thighs. Beautiful. Okay, done this a few times. You feel suddenly it goes smooth. Then you keep your legs as they are. Upper body is parallel to the ground and really think you arch as much as you can't, can. You can't over arch, you know, unless you're really, really flexible. So arms are to the side. Feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Arms are to the side. Neck is long. And you reach as far out as you can to the right and to the left. Good. Yeah, keep the stretch in your hamstring. Long neck. And stretch to the side. Beautiful. Okay. Good. Bring your feet a bit closer together. Hands on your knees. And do a few standing cats and calves. So you arch even through your neck. Lift between your legs and make it as round as you can. What do you think? Those little clips should be like morning wake up like sequences. This is great to wake up your spine. Okay, beautiful. Okay, yesterday was more squats. Today we're going to do more lunges. Okay, so the left leg is back. And you remember, broad shoulders. And you just glide up and down. Go through what you have to take care of. Okay, back heel is far off the ground and you glide up and down like you would be on a wall. You can see here my sliding door. Gives a good idea, I will really stay in one line. Okay, nice, stay low. Shoulders up broad and we start doing a few hip hinges. Okay, good. And now you kind of find a neutral position, which is like lower belly is engaged, but it's a bit engaged, okay? So now you can see your body's perfectly upright and straight. Okay, let's glide a few more up and down. Three, two, last one. Very good, stay nice and low, and arms come back. Open your shoulders, so have them higher than your shoulders to really open your shoulders. Pectoralis stretch. Watch from the sides, so even my arms going back, I'm not arching. I really control the movement with my core. Beautiful. And three, two, last one. Good, now arms even go to the ceiling. Don't want arch, still keep it engaged. You go low and you step low, you step in, low, step in, I show from the side, low, how far you go down with your knee, it doesn't really matter, if you're starting new and you don't have the power yet, just do it a bit down, perfect, last five, four, three, two, last one, beautiful, stay down there, Last time, really focus on your form. Main weight is on the front leg. Shoulders broad, core strong. Beautiful, and you slowly come back in. Nice, same as the other side. Right leg goes back. And you just glide up and down. Nice. Same here, shoulders are broad. I glide up and down. There's a bit more weight on my front leg than on my bad leg. Back leg, three, two, last one. Okay, let's move hip a bit. Okay. So we learn that we can move our hip independently from our shoulders. That's why the spine is so many different vertebrae. You can move every vertebra independent. Good. Remember, keep it slightly engaged. Butt is a bit working. Bring arms to the side. Super solid with your body, only your arms are moving. Excellent. Arms come up, you glide a bit lower, and you step in. I 
arms come up about arching your back and in. Up on arching your back and in. Beautiful. And you see my knees bending, obviously, but it's not coming forward. So you keep the main weight on the heel of the front foot. And five, four, three, two, last one. One more time, stay nice and low. If you have something that mirrors you or you have a reflection, also look at the knee and let it come in. Three, Beautiful. Okay, good. Let's do one more set of lunges. Again, left leg goes back. Okay, nice. Arms are up. We go low, we go low, and we close. Low. Close up your shoulders on the side. You really open your arms back. Open your arms when you're back. Your hands are as far back as your elbows. In five. Last one, stay down there. We come up and down. You start stepping in. We come up, we go low. We come up, we go low. All the time, really push your hands back, but not further back than your elbows. And three, and two, and last one. Beautiful. Okay, other side. Last leg, I just need it a bit, bit deeper. This direction. Good. Okay, right leg goes back. Okay, that was perfect. We come back, arms are here. Remember, we close and open. Legs stay where they are. If you see yourself on the side, it's tempting to do this because it's what our shoulders like to do, being hinged forward. But open them. Hands are as far back as your elbows. Two, last one. Excellent, you stay there. We go low, we reach to the ceiling. Step back, reach to the ceiling. Back, nice. And five, and four, three, two, last one. Beautiful, okay, good. Now the shoulders should be open, core warmed up, glute should be working. Excellent. So grab a cushion if you have one. You are on a ball, anything you can squeeze between your legs. Okay, good. Squeeze it in between your legs. Okay, and lift up your behind. Okay, while you have something in between your legs even more, Difficult to keep your rib cage or your shoulder blades on the ground. Remember, you squeeze up with your glutes. You don't arch in the back, out of your back. You, this is wrong. Short chest is out. You want to have chest down, hips higher than your shoulders, uh, than your hips, ribs. In five, four. Two, last one. Keep it up there. Feel glutes are working. Your belly is a bit working. Do not arch. You're down here and you start squeezing the pillow together. You squeeze, 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 squeeze. You feel you want to lose the, the tension in your belly. Retune it. Really feel inner thighs, bud. Five. Four, little pulses on the pillow, three, two, last one. Keep the tension, and again, we do tiny pulses out of your glute. Don't arch your back, really work out of your behind. Five, four, three, two, last one. Excellent, let's go low. Bring your chest towards, uh, the knees to your chest, and bring it back down. These are reverse crunches, okay? So they look really easy, but again, the important part is keeping your back glued to the ground and you move your knees 
to the chest and back to the ground without lifting your back off the ground. Okay, while you still squeeze whatever you have in between your legs. Beautiful. So if this is too hard, have your feet more towards your behind. If that's too easy, have them all the way out. You can bring them all the way out, anything in between is fine. As long as you don't lose contact between your lumbar spine and the ground. And three, and two, and last one. Beautiful. Okay, get rid of the cushion. And we do one more time. Glute bridge. Beautiful. Up and down, five. Four, three, two, last one. Okay, if this part's hard enough, keep on going. Feel it out of your glute, not out of your back. If you can do more, really bring your right knee close to your chest. And just push yourself up out of your left glute. Let's see. Knee comes to the chest. With this movement, we avoid arching. As many times people don't feel this, this exercise doesn't feel good because we do this, okay? So every time you come up, bring the knee to the chest. You don't let your back arch. And five. And maybe it looks like I rest when I go down, but obviously I don't rest. I just come close to the ground before I turn around. And stay up. Give me a few pulses. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Beautiful. Left leg up, same here. Single leg, glute bridges, nice. Feel like your lower belly brings the knee to the chest. So don't let your back arch. Excellent. So if you have both legs down, keep on going, big movements. In five, four, three, two, Last one, beautiful, stay up there, little pulses. Even if both your feet are down, give me little pulses. So squeeze your glutes, squeeze, five, four, three, two, last one. Beautiful, roll down, put your left foot on your right knee, wrap around your right leg, pull it towards you while you push your left leg away. You might already feel a stretch if you just pull it in that way, but most of you will feel more if you use your left elbow to push your left knee away while you're pulling towards you. Good, hold it for a second. Ooh, pull it closer. Nice, same on the other side. Right foot on top of your left, go around your left, pull it towards you. And decide yourself if you get more out of it, if you use your right elbow to push your right knee away. Get that closely. And you know why it's also called the number four stretch. If this one is straight or bent, it doesn't really matter. If it's straight, you get, might get a bit of a hamstring stretch, but I really want to focus on your glute. Last one. And release. Excellent. We do one quick core. And then we're done. Okay, so we've already done. Arms go up, okay? And without moving anything in, in your core, you bring both hands overhead, one foot to the ground. Bring everything back up, like you would be kneeling on the ceiling. Then the other one goes apart before you touch the ground. Hold for a second, come back in. And you see, I hope you can see at least, here nothing is moving. So either my legs nor my arms pulling my ribcage apart, okay? My ribs and my hips always stay connected. If you feel it's too much doing arms and legs together, keep your arms out of the way and just focus on your legs. And if you feel, oh, I can, that's okay, I have handled that. Do a few only arms. And then if you feel you can keep your ribcage down, nothing is moving, you combine both. And this is the easy part, being a part of out lifting off your back, that's hard. Let's do two more each side, two. Last one. Very nice, 
Excellent. Good. Arms go out. And you just gently move your feet to the right. And to the left. Excellent. Good. Go to the side. Come up. And we're 